I know you, you're thinking, uh, where's Waldo with this hat? But actually, I'm Jacques Cousteau, a famous French oceanographer. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning and welcome. Ladies and gentlemen, friends and loved ones, welcome to the first ever BAEC fourth grade historical grand march. My name is Mr. Andolik and I will be the MC for the first half of the march. Next to me is Lady Liberty, Mrs. Grubb, who will MC the second half of the march. On behalf of the entire fourth grade team and Mrs. Mankey, our school principal, we want to thank you for joining us in the celebration of excellence from our fourth graders. I came to Burgesstown in 2011 and toward the end of my first year, I presented this idea to Mrs. Grubb of having this wax museum. Here we are now, 10 years later, still going strong, but each year uh, I get these ideas in my head and Mrs. Grubb calls them visions of how I want the Wax Museum to grow. Well, this year she actually came up to me and said, I have a vision. My eyes grew big. <laughs> this Grand March Mrs. Grubb was a wonderful idea. So thank you so much for your vision. And I speak on, the, on behalf of the entire fourth grade team when we say thank you, parents, for all your help and support of this project from home. Finding display, this wouldn't be possible. Now, to our fourth graders. For the past month, they have been reading, researching, and writing about famous, influential people throughout history. They have become the teachers in this past month. They'd come up to us every day with a, did you know, Mr. R? Did you know, Mr. Hughes? Did you know, Miss Marshall? Did you know, Mrs. Grubb? They've also created beautiful display boards showcasing their creativity and artistic abilities. And now today, it has all come together to make some beautiful music. And now, Speaking of music, why don't we kick this off with a famous rocker? So, are you ready, families, for the first annual BAEC Grand Historical March? All right, up first we have coming out Janice Joplin. Janis Joplin was an American singer-songwriter who sang rock, soul, and blues music. One of the most successful and widely known rock stars of her era, she was noted for her powerful soprano vocals and electric stage presence. She was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 1995. Up next, we have Thomas Edison. Thomas Elba Edison was an American inventor and businessman who has been described as America's greatest inventor. He developed many devices in fields such as electric power generation, mass communication, sound recording, and motion pictures. Oh, we have one of our founding fathers, Mr. Benjamin Franklin, come on out. Benjamin Franklin was one of the founding fathers of the United States. He was a leading writer, printer, political, philosopher, politician, Freemason, postmaster, scientist, inventor, humorist, civic activist, statesman, and diplomat. What a great person. All right. Now, next up, we have a first for our BEC Wax Museum. We had our very first animal <laughs> historical figure, Judy the War Dog. <laughs> Judy was a purebred brown and white pointer. She was a ship's dog on board two ships during World War II. She managed to get out of that situation too. Good job, Judy. Judy was able to hear incoming aircraft providing the crew with an early warning. Once Judy's crew was stranded on a deserted island and Judy managed to find a fresh water source saving them all. She also became a prisoner of war and helped warn prisoners of snakes and scorpions that could be around. She was awarded the Dickin Medal, a medal awarded to animals that served in World War II. Next up, we have the 
crocodile hunter, Steve Irwin. Nicknamed the crocodile hunter, Steve Irwin was an Australian zookeeper, television personality, wildlife expert, environmentalist, and conservationist. Next up, Dr. Seuss. Theodore Seuss Geisel was an American children's author, political cartoonist, illustrator, poet, animator, and filmmaker. He is known for his work writing and illustrating more than 60 books under the pen name Dr. Seuss. And next up, we have William Penn. William Penn was an English writer and religious thinker belonging to the Religious Society of Friends and actually the founder of our state of Pennsylvania. Up next, we have a special event, the Great Chicago Fire. Representing the Great Chicago Fire, here is Oscar. The Great Chicago Fire was a fire that burned in the American city of Chicago during October of 1871. The fire killed approximately 300 people, destroyed roughly three miles of the city, and left more than 100,000 residents homeless. Next up, Mr. Kurt Angle. Kurt Angle is an American Olympic gold medalist, actor, retired professional wrestler, and former amateur wrestler. He is best known for his time in WWE and Total Nonstop Action Wrestling. Kurt was born here in nearby Mount Lebanon, Pennsylvania. All right, up next we have Mr. Sam Walton. Sam Walton was an American businessman and entrepreneur best known for founding the retailers Walmart and Sam's Club. Walmart grew to be the world's largest corporation by revenue, as well as the biggest private employer in the world. For a period of time, Walton was the richest man in America. One, two, three, strikes, you're out. Come on out, Dorothy Kamenchek. Dorothy Kamenchek was an all-American girls professional baseball league player. She batted and threw left-handed. The 1992 film, A League of Their Own, introduced a new generation to the history of women's baseball. Gina Davis played Dottie Henson, the best best ball player in the league and a character loosely based on Kamenshek. All right, Mr. Alexander Hamilton. Alexander Hamilton was an American statesman, politician, legal scholar, military commander, lawyer, banker, and economist. He is also one of the founding fathers of the United States. Galileo Galilei. Let's go across the sea. Here is an Italian astronomer, physicist, and engineer from Pisa, Italy. Galileo has been called the father of observational astronomy, the father of modern physics, the father of the scientific method, and the father of modern science. Sally Ride. Sally Ride was an American astronaut and physicist. Born in Los Angeles, she joined NASA in 1978 and in 1983 became the first American woman in space. Up next, we have another special event in our history, the Black Death. Representing the Black Death is a plague doctor. The Black Death was a devastating global epidemic of bubonic plague that struck Europe and Asia in the mid-1300s. If you notice the beak on the front of the plague doctor, doctors believed the herbs would counter the evil smells of the plague and prevent them from being coming infected. All right, Andrew Carnegie, come on out industrialist and philanthropist. Carnegie led the expansion of the American steel industry in the late 19th century and became one of the richest Americans in history. He produced the steel to make machinery and transportation possible throughout the nation. Maybe you visited one of his museums downtown. Up next, we have the Space Shuttle Challenger disaster. 
The Space Shuttle Challenger disaster was a fatal incident in the United States space program that occurred on January 28, 1986, when the Space Shuttle Challenger broke apart 73 seconds into its flight, killing all seven crew members aboard. The crew consisted of five NASA astronauts and two payload specialists. All right, come on, don't skate out here, but walk on out, Tony Hawk. Tony Hawk is an American professional skateboarder and entrepreneur and the owner of the skateboard company Birdhouse. He completed the first documented 900 skateboarding trick, licensed the video game series, and is a pioneer of modern vertical skateboarding. Here's Lucy. Lucy Ball, American actress, comedian, model, studio executive, and producer. As one of Hollywood's greatest icons and arguably the most iconic female entertainer of all time, she was the star and producer of sitcoms I Love Lucy, The Lucy Show, and Here's Lucy. Uh, this next gentleman, Serial, John Kellogg, American physician and health food pioneer, his development of dry breakfast cereals was largely responsible for the creation of the flaked cereal industry. All right, our next musician, come on out, Miss Patsy Klein. <laughs> Patsy Klein, an American singer. She is considered one of the most influential vocalists of the 20th century and was one of the first country music artists to successfully cross over into pop music. Everyone better bow down and hail the next person, Julius Caesar. Come on out. Woo! Julius Caesar was a military commander, politician, and author at the end of the Roman Republic. He fought a civil war against Pompey the Great. Winning the war, he became Roman dictator for life. He was killed by his enemies in Rome. <laughs> All right, this truly is the greatest show, I think, today. And what better way to uh, show that by bringing out P.T. Barnum. Phineas Taylor Barnum was an American showman, politician, and businessman. Remembered for promoting celebrated hoaxes and for founding the Barnum and Bailey Circle. He once said, the noblest art is that of making others happy. Mr. George Lucas, American film director, producer, screenwriter, and entrepreneur. Lucas is best known for creating the Star Wars and Indiana Jones franchises and finding Lucasfilm, LucasArts, and Industrial Light and Magic. And last but not least, from Miss Marshall's homeroom, we have Mr. William Gilbert. William Gilbert was an English scientist and physician who is credited by many as the father of electricity and magnetism. When he observed that magnetic forces often produce circular motions, he began to connect the phenomenon of magnetism with the rotation of the Earth. Let's give a quick round of applause for Miss Marshall's home room. <laughs> Up next, we have Mr. Rendolick's home room. Please. Welcome from across the pond, Queen Elizabeth II. Queen Elizabeth II is Queen of the United Kingdom and 15 other Commonwealth realms. She is known for her compassion and longest reign as Queen. Up next we have I apologize. There's Queen Elizabeth. There we go. Sorry there, Miss Queen Elizabeth. I apologize. You still look out radiant. Portal right. Up next, we have one of the Wright brothers, Orville Wright. The Wright brothers are most famous for inventing, building, and flying the world's first successful motor-operated airplane. All right. Yep. All right. 
We have another royalty in our presence today, King George III. He ruled England for 59 years. Though he helped the British beat the French in the French and Indian War, he is most known for losing to the American colonies during the American Revolution. Up next is, up next is one of my favorites, Mr. Abraham Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln was an American lawyer and politician who served as the 16th President of the United States from 1861 until his assassination in 1865. Lincoln led the nation through the American Civil War and said, whatever you are, be a good one. Up next, Florence Nightingale. Come on out, Florence. Florence was a British nurse, social reformer, and statistician best known as the founder of modern nursing. Her efforts to reform health care greatly influenced the quality of care in the 19th and 20th centuries. Up next, Amelia Earhart. Amelia Earhart was an American aviation pioneer and author. Er Earhart was the first female aviator to fly solo across the Atlantic Ocean. She sent many other records, wrote best-selling books about her flying experiences. All right, I think we have Susan B. Anthony up next. All right, here's Susan B. Anthony. Susan B. Anthony was a pioneer in the women's suffrage movement and helped pave the way for the 19th Amendment to the Constitution, giving women the right to vote. Did you know on July 2nd, 1979, she became the first woman to be featured on the circulating coin from the U.S. Mint? And last but not least, Mr. Leonardo da Vinci. Leonardo da Vinci was a painter, architect, inventor, and student of all things scientific. I'm sure he'd invent something to get those balloons out of the way, right? Today, he remains best known for his art, including two paintings that remain among the world's most famous and admired, Mona Lisa and The Last Supper. All right, ladies and gentlemen, can we please give a round of applause to Mr. Rendolick's home room? All right, now at this time, I'd like to hand over the microphone to my teaching partner, Mrs. Grubb, Lady Liberty. The mic's yours. Um, I'm going to start by announcing my homeroom students. First, we have Mary Jane McLeod Bethune. Mary Jane McLeod Bethune was an American educator, stateswoman, philanthropist, humanitarian, womanist, and civil rights activist. She also served as a presidential advisor. Next, we have Elvis, Elvis Presley. Elvis was an American singer, musician, and actor. He's regarded as one of the most significant cultural icons of the 20th century and is referred to as the king of rock and roll. Thank you very much. Next, we have Harriet Tubman. Harriet Tubman was an American abolitionist and political activist. Harriet Tubman escaped and subsequently made 13 missions to res rescue approximately 70 enslaved people. Next, we have Mr. Donald Trump. Mr. Donald Trump is an American media personality businessman and served as the 45th president of the United States. I hope our next person is cooking up something tasty. Welcome Julia Child. Julia Child was an American cooking teacher, author, 
and television personality. She's recognized for bringing the French cuisine to the American public. Please welcome Jane Goodall. Jane Goodall is an English primatologist and anthropologist, is considered to be the world's foremost expert on chimpanzees. Goodall is best known for her 60-year study of their social and family interactions. Vroom, vroom, Henry Ford, here he comes. Henry Ford was an American industrialist businessman and founder of the Ford Motor Company. Hang on, Henry. Okay, Henry was the chief developer of the assembly line technique of mass production. Anybody see happy little trees? Bob Ross, come on out here, Bob Ross. Bob Ross was an American painter, art instructor, and television host. He was the creator and host of The Joy of Painting, an instructional television program that aired from 1983 to 1994. Neil Armstrong, please give a warm welcome to Neil Armstrong, an American astronaut and aeronautical engineer. He was the first person to walk on the moon. One small steep step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Down on the farm we go, Bob Evans. Come on out, Bob Evans. Bob Evans was an American restaurateur and marketer of pork sausage products. Thank you, Mr. Evans. Life really is sweet with our next um, character here. Welcome Milton Hershey. Milton Hershey was an American chocolatier, businessman, and philanthropist. He pioneered the manufacture of caramel. Ahoy, Métis. Welcome, Blackbeard. Blackbeard was an English pirate who operated around the West Indies and eastern coast of Britain's North American colonies. again we have Alexander the Great with us today Alexander the third of Macedon commonly known as Alexander the Great was a king of the ancient Greek kingdom of Macedon we all need some magic in our lives please welcome Harry Houdini Harry Houdini was a Hungarian born American escape artist, illusionist, and stunt performer. <laughs> Always a trick up his sleeve. Okay, please welcome Wayne Gretzky. He shoots, he scores. Wayne Woo! Gretzky is a former professional ice hockey player and former head coach. He played 20 seasons in the National Hockey League with four different teams. Okay, please welcome Anna Pavlova. Anna Pavlova was a Russian prima ballerina. She danced in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. 
she was a principal ballerina of the Imperial Russian Ballet. Clap your hands for Mr. Stan Lee. Stan Lee was an American comic book writer, editor, publisher, and producer. He rose through the ranks of a family-run business to become Marvel Comics. Okay, anyone like peanut butter here? Mm -hmm. Here we have George Washington Carver. Come on out, George. Mr. Carver was an American agricultural scientist and inventor who promoted alternative crops and created 105 uses for peanuts. Please clap your hands for Michelangelo. Michelangelo was an Italian sculptor, painter, architect, and poet of the High Renaissance. for me this year. First time in 10 years. I learned a lot with this one. Please welcome William Galloway. <laughs> William Galloway was kidnapped as a child by the Mohawk Indians, escaped after years to Fort Pitt. He later in life participated in carving the Mason-Dixon line and as an interpreter in the French and Indian War. I'll recognize this next gentleman here. Please welcome George Washington. George Washington was an American political leader, military general, and founding father who served as our first president. Finally, we have Princess Diana. Diana, Princess of Wales, was a member of the British royal family. She was the first wife of Charles, Prince of Wales, and the heir to the British throne. I'm sorry, not finally. I seem to have missed our hometown hero, Mr. Clemente. Please welcome Roberto Clemente. Roberto? was a baseball player who played 18 seasons for the Pittsburgh Pirates and helped them win multiple World Series championships. Thank you, Roberto. Okay, so that is the end of Mrs. Grubb's homeroom. Finally, we have Mr. Hughes's homeroom. Please welcome Helen Morales, new character to the Wax Museum this year. Helen Morales. American freestyle wrestler. She became the first ever American to win a gold medal in women's freestyle wrestling at the Olympic Games. Please welcome Frank Lloyd Wright. Frank Lloyd Wright was an American architect, designer, writer, and educator. He designed more than a thousand structures, including falling water. Next, we have Christopher Columbus. Welcome to the new world. Christopher Columbus was an Italian explorer and navigator who completed four voyages across the Atlantic Ocean. great ideas, Thomas Edison. Thomas Edison was an American inventor and businessman who's been described as America's greatest inventor. Our next person has brought so much beauty in the world. Please clap your hands for Georgia O'Keeffe. Georgia O'Keeffe was an American artist. 
She's known for her paintings of enlarged flowers, New York skyscrapers, and New Mexico landscapes. Please welcome Sacagawea. Sacagawea was a Shoshone woman who at the age of 16 helped the Lewis and Clark expedition. Next, we have Dr. Charles Drew, another first for our wax museum. Dr. Charles Drew was an American surgeon and medical researcher. He researched and developed approved techniques for blood storage and developed large-scale blood banks early in World, World War II. Another great leader is with us today. Please welcome King Arthur I. Arthur was a legendary British leader who led the defense of Britain against the Saxon invaders. All right, big salute here for Betsy Ross. Please come down, Betsy Ross. Another artist today is Mr. Vincent Van Gogh. Vincent Van Gogh was a duck painter who became one of the most famous and influential figures in the history of Western art. Batters up, Jenny Finch, come on out. Jenny Finch is an American, former collegiate, all-American, and medal-winning Olympian softball pitcher. Another baseball player, Jackie Robinson, was an American professional baseball player who became the first African American to play in Major League Baseball. Nice play. Oh, we love this next one. Please come out, Miss Dolly Parton. Dolly Parton is an American singer, songwriter, author, businesswoman and humanitarian. She's known primarily for her work in country music. <laughs> Another founding father is with us next, Mr. Thomas Jefferson. Thomas Jefferson was an American statesman, diplomat, lawyer, architect, philosopher, and founding father. He's also credited with writing the Declaration of the Independence. Please clap your hands for Eleanor Roosevelt. <laughs> Eleanor Roosevelt was an American political figure, diplomat, and activist. She served as the First Lady of the United States. Next, we have Mr. Wyatt Earp. Wyatt Earp was an American law enforcement officer and businessman who worked in several places of the American West. This next name might be new to you. Please welcome Dr. Robert Ballard. Robert Ballard is a retired American Navy officer and professor he is responsible for locating and exploring the sunken Titanic, among many other shipwrecks. Another new character for us this year, please welcome Antoine Lavoisier. Antoine was a French chemist responsible for naming carbon. Another musician, we have Louis Armstrong. Louis Armstrong was an American trumpeter and vocalist who was among the most influential figures in jazz. Next, we have 
Ringo Starr. Ringo Starr is an English musician, singer, songwriter, and actor who was the drummer of the Beatles. Finally, this year, most importantly, we have a Mr. Jonas Salk with us. Come on out, Mr. Salk. Dr. Salk was an American virologist and medical researcher who developed one of the first successful polio vaccines, as well as uh, pioneering research in many other vaccines. up again. Next we have Lou Gehrig. Lou Gehrig was an American professional baseball first baseman who played 17 seasons for the New York Yankees. Please clap your hands for Cleopatra of ancient Egypt. Cleopatra was one of the very first female rulers. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, before we break off, uh, I'd like to just announce that we also have video 